more YouTube family, more Tunis country home here. Um, I was trying to think about. I was watching these videos, all these videos yesterday uh, from other content creators and in general, just whatever, everything that's going on with the health crisis, uh, with, with what's going on overseas, uh, the protests, um, with our economy, with the way uh, with the Federal Reserve is just printing money, and the way that... Um, they basically they've made the rules on how, re, or how our economy works um, new rules and with the money I was thinking about all these different stories in general coming together and making life miserable for a lot of people and really for everybody you know in one way or another at least for those of us that are awake and are seeing what's going on uh, some people are suffering and they don't know I mean they just think that that's the way life is and, and really it shouldn't be and my my thing guys is uh, and, and y'all know is that my thing is, is, is the psychological aspects of, of how the ruling class deals with us with, with, with the rest of humanity and I've seen several videos I mean I, I to me there's really everything that's going on uh, is just a side effect of the way they deal with us on a psychological level those are just things that 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 are happening so for example um, I don't know if y'all ever have y'all ever so okay the art of war by Sun Tzu was written supposedly 2,000 years ago over 2,000 years ago and uh, and 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 that book it talks about how how to win a war with doing the least amount of fighting and that and that war is based on deception I've made a lot of videos, guys, touching on the psychological aspects of what's going on, and and the more the more that I see what's going on, the more I know I'm right. Um, we outnumber the ruling class by the billions, yet they rule over us, and 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 it, it seems like it doesn't matter what we do the system is so rigid it's so in place that there's really no remedy for us at least that's what it seems and you know we're if you follow everything if you follow everything to its logical conclusion there's really no way out because Humanity, once, once people, people that are that are not in the ruling class, but once they get a taste of, of some kind of, they get a taste of, of, of the money and the power, they won't let go. And so the ruling class, they don't need much to to be able to accomplish what they have accomplished with us. Also. The ruling class sends their kids to school to be leaders and to rule and, and, and to rule to, to, to be CEOs to be in positions of power while in general we send our kids in, in general again like I'm saying in general we send our kids to just continue to be slaves The public schools, which are, are are based on the Prussian military, uh, we're just. I mean, I remember my education. I mean, I I I thought I was pretty intelligent when I was a kid. I, I knew I was pretty smart, but when I think back, really, uh, you know, a 
again, in general, the education is to continue for us to, is basically to do what we are told to do. There's a book called, there's, there's several books that touch on the art of war, in my opinion, which is to me psychological. Sung Tzu, it, Sung Tzu, which wrote the art of war, talks about opposites, right? To appear weak to your enemy when in reality you are strong, or to appear strong when you are weak. Be here when in reality, try appear to be in one place when in reality you're in another. It's all based on deception. It's all psychological. You know, of course, you, you try to win battles with the least amount of fighting. And if you think about it, that's what the ruling class has done. They use silent weapons for quiet wars. You know, I'm not saying that they don't, they don't have militaries and, and police, you know, as their, as their enforcers, because of course we, obviously that's what they are. But they, in order for them to have gotten that, to be able to have the military in place or the, the law enforcement, which in my opinion is, is just another arm of the, of the ruling class. That's what they are. I mean, I'm, there's no other way to say it. I mean, there's no other way to sugar, you can't sugarcoat it. They're, the police are there to protect the state. And, you know, the reason I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this up is because it has become very obvious that the ruling class and the, and the people that they, that work for them are outright liars and deceivers and, and, uh, they have, they look at us with, you know, it, it seems to me, no remorse, uh, they're, they don't care about the suffering that's going on, and the suffering that they cause, and if you want a good example about that, guys, is The Prince by, by Machiavelli, who's from Florence, and, and, and from all the books, you know, Machiavelli, uh, comes very close in, in, in describing how a state, the, the institution of the state, the, the entity, how they work, is basically do whatever you need to do in order to meet the ends that you're trying to meet. You know, if, if you know, being a good guy is... That's not, that's not gonna, um, that does you no good. And so, these people that have, are not, not, they're not constrained by morals or the concept of, you know, being good, right, quote unquote, being a good person or being moral or respecting people's rights they don't they don't think like that they don't have they're not constrained by those things because to them you to them their philosophy is you do what you got to do in order to get what you want and like now before you know, if you think about it, back in the days in the media, like when I was growing up, when there was a scandal, some politician was caught with a mistress or they were caught stealing or, or, or whatever. There was a big scandal in the media. And now there's, you know, it basically you can, it seems like you can do whatever you want and nothing happens if, if you're high enough, if you're high up enough in the food chain, in the, in the, a social ladder, I guess, whatever you want to say. If you're a politician or you have some kind of a position in in the state, the FBI, the all these law enforcement, supposed law enforcement, I mean, they've been hijacked and 
everything's done out in the open now. There's no more, there's not, there's really no more uh, scandals, if you know what I'm trying to say. Nobody's held accountable. It, 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 it's like nobody gets in trouble anymore. Nobody goes to jail. They get a fine. Banks are committing fraud and and breaking, uh, you know, RICO, RICO acts. I mean, they're it's it, we're being we're being ruled by criminals. And if you try to stand up for yourself or try to fight back in any meaningful way, that's gonna get results. You're shut down very fast, or you're out, or you're killed. So. In order to understand what's going on, guys, you know, you gotta, you have to think like them. I'm not saying to act like them, but you need to think like them so that you can know who your enemy is. You know, some of us, even knowing what's being done, you know, we maybe we don't have the resources to, to be able to, to withstand what's being thrown against us. It's possible. Not, I'm not saying all I'm saying is though is I'd rather I'd rather know who my enemy is and 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 how they're doing and how they're attacking me than to just let them run over me you know that's the way I feel so anyway guys um It's become very apparent that that uh, they're doing everything out in the open. They don't care, and they're mocking us. And, and And the reason they're doing that is because they know that there's no, they're not accountable t- for what they're doing. So, you know, that's why I always tell y'all. I, I always say that that the lack of knowledge in in, in, in our and our neighbors and a lot of our families and and honestly also their the greed of, of people they'll sell out their 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 standards their their virtues they'll sell out for money and I understand everybody wants to live a good life everybody wants to live a comfortable life I understand that I I, I want I want the best for my family uh, but in, in, in a lot of instances are you gonna give up who you are? Are you gonna give up your morals, your high-mindedness, your 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 higher your minded your higher-minded state for some for some money and sell out? You know because you want to live a good life or you want to live a better life. It's a hard. It's a very fine line, guys. A very fine line. You know. So. A lot of people, and, and where I see that, where I see that people sell out is our local politicians. They outright lie to us and all for, for some money, you know, for some money in a bank account. I mean, I see it, especially another government entity that has taken up, a, a, is a very big part of their control, the control, uh, how do I say the control mechanism is the school districts because it starts at the very basic level. The school districts. Uh, I see a lot of these people on the school boards. I see them on. I see them on uh, on a lot of videos where they won't let the people talk when they go to the meetings and stuff, or they, they only have so many minutes to talk. You know, those people should be dealt with. And they're not because people see the system, right? The and, and they use that as well, and it's part of the psychological operation. They we we can go up and say, you know what, y'all, you've broken the law, or you've broken your the the contract that you have with us in your position, and so therefore you need to be removed don't do that and and they know that the system is so rigid that they'll stay there you know and and now 
the rule of law only applies to us, not to them. Because as long as they're pushing the agenda that the state wants, and I use the, the term the state very loosely, guys. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the ruling class, the ruling entity, whatever, whatever group of people are running our lives. And it's what's funny is that it's it's all an illusion, guys. It, but but the things that they're doing to us are very real. What you let, what you allow for them to do to you, that's what they're gonna do. I mean, there's no other way. There's no two ways about it. They're gonna do what you let, what you let them do to you. You gotta stand up somehow, guys. You, you know, make a stand. What is it? Uh, are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna just exist as a slave? Because that's all you're doing is you're just existing. And you know, people believe that because they can go drink some beers or go watch some movie or go move around and go shopping or whatever, and that they have freedom. That's not freedom. They're you just. Really, that that's a distraction for y'all. That's a distraction, and people like people would rather live that. They'll take that and like you know, it's almost like Stockholm syndrome. They'd rather they'd rather exist as a slave than than live as a free man and 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 fight for and fight for for their freedoms. For their natural rights, their God-given rights, people just rather—they don't want no trouble, they don't want no problems. They—they they don't. They'll—they'll they'll just get along. They'll just go along to get along. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave a couple of links in the description for y'all. One is The Prince. It'll give an idea. The Prince by Machiavelli. It's a good book to read, so that you know one of the, one of the ways, one of the methods that. The ruling class is using against you because that's like their bible or one of their bibles another book is the art of war the art of war is not just a battlefield that you know our whole life is a battlefield and and believe me guys they, they are at war with us we're in a war some of some of some people just don't know it they don't know they're in a war um it's 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 a psychological war and that might be the most effective because at least when somebody's shooting at you or there's, let's say there's an army, some kind of invasion force or mercenaries start attacking America, that's an enemy that you can see and, and something that you can respond to. And and honestly, they, the, the, the government won't do that. They won't, they won't do that because that'll, that'll galvanize the people and bring them together. They don't want that, they want us apart. So we're being gaslit and we're being attacked in, in unconventional ways, guys. So, you know, just just keep that in mind. I just wanted to put that out there because things are moving faster. Uh, they're moving much faster and it seems like every day uh, things progress a little bit more. And even and even when they're not, even when they're not, they own the media. The media gives you the impression that things are moving in a certain direction. That's another thing. So you gotta look at what's in front of you, um, and and you just gotta stand up for yourself, guys. Make a stand. What is your what is your line in the sand? What is what is what is your what is your your what is your, I mean, when are you going to say, that's it, that's enough? And the more people, the more, the more that people know that there's others standing with them, it'll give them courage. And I'm not, and I'm not trying to, you know, downplay our, our spirituality. I know a lot of people, I know very good friends of mine that tell me that, you know, the fact that I worry about 
what's going on here is is a shortcoming of mine because you know there's more to this world this world is just temporary this life is just temporary I'm, I understand that you know the the things of the world uh, maybe it is maybe it is a shortcoming you know I understand that you know gather your riches in heaven not on earth but that doesn't mean that I want to suffer here and let my and see my family suffer. I don't want that. I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna. I'm not just gonna turn the other cheek, guys. I'm not. You know. Maybe that's unchristian or whatever. Or I'm not following the Bible. I'm, I know it's not. You know, but. I'm not gonna just stand around and see my fa see my family attack because that's what they're doing. They're attacking your families, guys. They're attacking all our families. So anyway, thanks for your time, guys. You know, with everything going on, you know, we're prepping. You know, we're preparing with you know what's going on, and that's we're supposed to do that. Stock up on the things that we're gonna need. But you also gotta prep your mind, guys. I mean, that's very important. That's so important because without Without that, I mean, you're 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 not going nowhere. You're you're standing. You're starting from square one. And you know, just so you know, I I have God in my heart. And you know, I don't go to. I'm not Catholic or you know, I'm not any certain branch of Christianity. I just believe in Jesus Christ and I believe in, in God as Father. And but I know that these evil people they have free reign in this world. And I'm just not gonna <laughs> I'm not just gonna let them, you know, run over me. I don't know. But anyway guys Take care of each other and love each other out there because that's what we're here for. God bless.